Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear and today we are reviewing another Convoy flashlight so let me start that intro again Rewind it back DJ Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Convoy Flashlight Reviews That's how it feels right now because I've been doing so many reviews on Convoy flashlights But that's what I come across and they are bloody great lights So in front of me we have two S21Ds Now don't let the name fool ya because it says S21C and apparently the S21C is the 3 LED version of this light but this is definitely a S21D as we can see it's got 4 LEDs and some nice bead looking optics frosted yeah so this is the Convoy S21D um, these two are using the Nishia 519A one of them is in a 4500K tint the other one has been de-domed and it's now currently 3700K um, right now I'm only going to review the 4500K but I'll put beam shots in at the end um, so you guys can see how they both work I probably don't even have the right one right now hopefully I do so yeah I bought these second hand and apparently they were supposed to, both are supposed to have the 8 amp drivers but I just checked and one of them is actually running almost 13 amps I was like why is the D-Dome one getting more out output because it's a 3700K tint um, and it turns out it's doing almost 13 amps Yeah, I don't know Cool, like I'm not complaining So now we get to test both of them But yeah, interesting By now everyone at home is watching like Shut up, get on with the video Stop whining, shut up Alright, I'll try and break the video up into uh, even parts As always the beam shots will be at the end There's no really testing in this video Because we've already seen what the 519A can do so um, yeah, this is the Convoy S21D, as I've said 10 billion million times uh, Using the Quad Nishia 519A, this one is the 4500K 90 plus CRI tint um, This is using the constant current uh, driver, so 8 amps I did test it 9 amps, that could be because the tail cap is gone So there's a little less resistance around the light um, And I measured this 4500K tint at 2166 lumens um, and it's also got a whopping amount of throw under the 60 degree optics It does, where did I write it down? Which one is which? 2820 lux Which is like nothing These 60 degree optics are like just super floody Super super floody um, And it's also got an AR coated lens there I guess before you move on I will say that you can also get it in a 12 amp driver Which is this one um, the 12 amp driver is more higher, more better, but it's not really because this 8 amp driver is pretty pretty damn good. This 8 amp driver is much more constant. Well, I know it's a constant current driver, but it's much more constant output than this uh, 12 amp. The 12 amps just heats up this light, even though this is a fairly big light, it gets really hot really fast. But I will say I did test the 12 amp driver, um, even with the um, 3700K tint, it's still 90 plus CRI because it's a 4500K LED just de domed. Um, it does 2450 lumens peak, and then, like, by a minute, it's already down at 2181. So, you know, you got your 12 amp driver there, uh, 2181 lumens after a minute, or you got your 8 amp driver at 2166. There's not really much difference, like if you're going to use these in the long run, you might as well go with the 8 amp driver It's pretty much the same thing I will add, it's like 17 degrees right now in the house, so this is like the best case, best case scenario I don't think you're going to be in many situations where it's like freezing cold unless you live in the snow So for like me testing, that's a pretty good, yeah, it's a pretty good, huh? So with that 2181 lumens, you actually get more throw because it's de-domed. So you get 2908 CD, um, or that could just be from the more amps, I'm not sure. Um, so both the drivers have uh, pretty good options. You get like low voltage protection. I haven't tested it, but apparently it's there. Uh, reverse pol polarity protection. <laughs> I don't want to test that one because I like my fingies. It's got a memory mode, it does have a memory mode, it does have 12 mode to the drivers because I've been playing around with these um, Temperature management, that's why the 12 amp one steps down so fast 
I only wrote down the specs of the 8 amps, so I'm hoping that they're pretty similar. But all these convoy drivers are pretty much the same. It's got a battery check mode, which I have not tried yet. I might have to give that a go. We'll see. We will see. So I guess we'll talk about the uh, body. So the body is made of aluminium alloy, not cheese grade. Flashlight is not plastic. Uh, it is using hard anodizing. Uh, it's got a reverse clicky. I don't usually add that into my videos, but nah. Some of the convoy lights do come with forward clickies and a nice stainless steel bezel. I have already gone over the fact it's got AR coated glass and uh, optics. Oh, the other thing I did mention is you can get it in um, different tints. So the 519A comes in tints between 5700K and 2700K, I believe. And you can also get it in optics. So these are uh, both 60 degrees Celsius optics. It's not really 60 degrees Celsius. But you can get it in like different kind of optics. So you don't have to have all the flood in the world. Because these really do not throw that well. If you want more throw, go for the uh, 10 degree optics. That'll suit you much better. I think. I don't know which way it works. Which way is which. Yeah, so um, the body is 21.7 mils in diameter. So this way the body. Uh, the head is 32.7. 1 mils, its length is 126.5 mils, and it weighs 106 grams. So overall, it's not too large. If we look at it here in my hand, it's not like overly large. I do have a S2 here, S2, S2 Plus. And you can see this is a uh, custom S2 Plus with um, a triple initia in it. Uh, and you can see it's not like it is a lot bigger, but it's not like overly huge. And considering it's using a 21700, it's not actually too bad. Uh, and build quality is great. I must say, like I like the design. The tail cap's nice. I've seen this in a few different lights. Uh, you can tail stand this light. I'm a liar. You know you are. You can tail stand it if you do not have it on two separate placemat things. But you can tail, tail, tail canned it. And um, because of the uh, nice sexy stainless steel bezel here i think you should be able to see the light coming out of it just not really you probably catch something on fire first but you know what i mean it's got some uh nice cooling fins here that uh, help dissipate the heat and the knurling is not too aggressive you know the threads are well cut you can undo them do them up pretty easy uh it does have like i don't know it isn't ipx rated but it would be fairly waterproof because there is o-rings here there's an o-ring at the front as usual so the back of the battery tube is anodized so you can lock it out even though it is a tail cap switch you can if you want to lock it out lock it out and um here we go i think this is the 12 amp one um so yeah i'm pretty sure it's a 22 mil driver but i will take it out and show you guys because i want to have a look at the two drivers separate um, and the board is, I do not have a clue because I did not measure any of these. So I'm going to get my calipers out and give a quick measure. There's the lens there. It's not even AR coded. There's that one there. And this is the D-Dome Michia 519As. I didn't D-Dome this. That is quite a nice job of D-Doming it. The LED board is actually pretty big. I think it's plastic calipers. Guaranteed accuracy into the kilometer. So what have we got? I missed it. I'm looking through the camera too. Don't judge me. 24 mils for the lens. Was that 24? Yeah, 24. Um, for the glass. The optics here should be the same, right? The optics is also 24 mils. The actual, we'll measure the actual outside of the head in case you guys are wondering. Um, that is 31. I will actually I already told you guys right? I already said it was 32.1 mils so you can see my calipers are no they're actually pretty spot to spot on I don't really see a point in me pulling the MC PCB out so I'll just stick it in these two holes and we'll add like a mil so I'm guessing it's around 22 mils right Ugh, went the wrong way there we go so yeah we got about 22 mils. While I got you guys here, this is the 519A's with the dome still on. Um, 4500K tint, also 4500K tint. 
I'm not sure how this one was de-domed. Uh, it shouldn't really matter. Probably heat, I would say, but yeah, all good. Okay, so I done did some 10 second uh, investigations. That's about as long as a current affair shows do before they start to harass you. And uh, I'll turn the light on. So looking at the scent resistor, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it looks like there's a five there. And it's at a weird angle. This one doesn't have as much um, slack. I want to pull it, and then I've got to re-solder it, because I've got to do the beam shot still. Maybe I can do the beam shots and come back and cut it off so I can see the sense resistor. So, can you guys read that number? Because I cannot, because I'm looking through. It looks like a R0005, I think. Alright, so yeah, definitely this one is the R010. So this is the... It's actually a 12 amp driver. And this one is a... R005. So they definitely are different resistors in both of these. Because um, I thought they were both 8 amp drivers, but... Having a look at them, just a quick search, I didn't really see much difference between them both. So I can see there is a different resistance value there. So I'm assuming that my uh, my multimeter is not wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot. The driver is 22 mils in diameter. So you can change it up, um, put in different drivers if you want to. Usually I only got to put back one light, but today we got to put back two. Yeah, so overall I would rate this light like four and a half out of five. It's a brilliant light. Um, I think it should fit most people's needs. It's bright, not super too bright, where it'll waste like way too much battery from a 21700. So you should still get pretty decent runtime. The build quality is amazing. This is a very well built light. It looks good. Um, it ticks all of my boxes. And you know, you got a lot of LED options and driver options. You know, you can get a uh, XBR HI and you can even get a Nishia 519B. I don't know why you wouldn't choose the 519A because it is a bloody good LED. It's hard to beat the Nishia 519A. Alright guys, I've probably been rambling on for like 45 minutes, so let's go outside and get some beam shots. Alright guys, now we're outside with the Convoy S21D, not the Convoy S21C. Although the body would say otherwise. So right now we're on the lowest mode and um, you can see the cubby house, it's 5 meters away. Uh, plenty of light. I think I got this in like the four or five mode setting So I'm not sure if it's got a moonlight on this mode, but we'll definitely ramp up Because it's bloody seven degrees outside and windy as look at the wind So that apparently is mode two And you can already see that there's an awful lot of light and it's just so floody like look at that it lights up everywhere the whole way around So that is apparently mode 3, should be one more mode, then mode 4, and that is the highest mode there. Whoop, let me put the camera, does that look pretty even? This mode is 2166 lumens, and it does hold this mode very very well. And you can see the tint in the tree, quite a nice tint, it actually looks a little bit better on camera than it does in person. But you can see nothing is like overly washed out. It's a very, very, very wide beam. Look, we're almost to the side here where you can see the light. There's like just like a straight drop off, off beam. It is very, very wide. All right, light is getting very warm, but it is also pretty cool outside. So maybe it's not as warm as I think. But you can see it puts out a lot of light and it's very, very floody. Alright guys, now we got the uh, Nishia S21, no, what am I saying, the Convoy S21D with the Nishia 519A 4500K tint, but this one is de-domed, so 3700K tint. Um, I'll leave the, um, the person who I brought these off does reviews too, this will be in mode 2, and um, he's got some pretty high tech equipment where he can check the RA and stuff off the LED, sorry I just bumped the camera, he can check it like all that stuff in the tint. So I'll leave a link to his review down below. Uh, and also I'll have uh, in the description, I'll have a link to uh, if you want to buy any of these lights or the parts. I'll link it down below where you can find them. So 3700K tint, you can definitely see 
it's a much much warmer tint and to me it does seem actually a lot brighter and it does throw further I didn't actually give you guys the throw number for this light did I? it's 2820 lux or was that? no 2908 CD so it doesn't throw that much further but it does throw a little bit further than the domed one actually that's the highest mode there and it is bloody bright look at the nice tint on the trees very very nice tint and uh, still a super wide beam, although it is de-domed. It is still a very wide beam. Um, this one is stepping down a lot faster. Ah, oh, that wind. Why did I wear shorts outside on an 8 degree night? And thongs. Not a G-string, I mean like flip-flops. Riding outside of a G-banger. Alright, <laughs> this video is going too far. Alright, I'll um, compare the other S21D with all another light and we'll see how it does. So this is the domed S21D on its highest mode, um, the 8 amps, well closer to, to 9 amps. And to compare it to, we've got the Convoy S11 that has that um, GTFC11, F11C, you guys know what I mean. So that's the uh, S11 here, I'll just cycle modes on that. Ooh. So that's the uh, S11 there. That's the Convoy S11 there. Oh no, sorry, I went through modes quite a few times. And that is the um, S21D here. So you can see that they are completely different beams. So S11 here and S21D here. But you can see the tints are not too far off. One is a, I think, I think the um, GTFC is a 4500K tint. Or maybe a 4000k tint somewhere around those two but you can see they do kind of like when we separate them fully they do kind of blend in to be pretty similar tints so this is the s11 here with the gt fc40 plus this has got an opp reflector too so uh, that might kind of change the tint and that's the s21d there with the optics with the 60 degree bead optics so pretty similar um, anyway guys, usually I would compare it to more lights, but I'm going to take these down to the park and I'm just going to make a beam shot video just, just comparing these two and a few other lights because we've already gone over almost five minutes of beam, beam shots now I think. So um, the S21D is a brilliant light, I would definitely buy one, in fact I brought two. Um, and they're great, great built, well priced, the Nisha 519A is a great LED puts out a lot of power for the amount, puts out a lot of light for the amount of power that it uses. I would definitely recommend buying one. As always, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.